I see that your juries are very busy. Yeah. What can you say about the solutions of this, all of these projects? Well, first of all, it's very nice to have such a lot of students here uh, with sustainability, um, with, with uh, issues on sustainability. And I think they come up with a broad range of, uh, of solutions to uh, real life problems. Yes. Like here we have uh, someone who thought about the water problem. As you know, in the whole the world, in the whole world, we have a shortage in water. And well, for me, this is very simple. What what he thought about is that if you um, have the water, normally you s you waste a lot of water. But if you just catch the water when you not use it, it goes back. So you can use it again. And if you use it with your hands, it goes here, and then it goes. To another system, so that's and I think that a lot of students come and came up with very practical and very usable, feasible ideas. A lot on energy, um, but also on, on water and on using uh, plants, etc. So it's a very wide, wide range of uh, of issues, but always very practical, but also with a good basis of research. And I think it is very nice to uh, to see. Okay, and what's the specific points? Because I think judging is very tough because so many uh, projects. What's the specific specific Point. Well, I always uh, ask about: um, Do they look about literature? Uh, has the done? Has the research been done before them? Um, can you use it in practice? So, do you have contact with the company, for instance? Are you really going outside your school to see if you can use it, or do you just sit in your class and uh, think of a nice idea? So, for me, it's very important to go outside and to see if you can use it in practice. Oh, thank you very much. I want. To, I have a last question. Can you say that one project is going to win? At the moment? Yes. No. <laughs> is it very tough? Yeah, I've seen 16 um, projects, and in total there are like 100. So I'm not. Maybe tomorrow I can say the best, but at the moment it's. Uh, but they're quite close to each other as well. Okay. Now, Anton, thank you very much for the interview. Yeah, you're welcome.